I thought dogs felt bad for their actions. It turns out they don't, and they don't experience guilt. There's little data to prove that dogs can feel secondary emotions, like guilt and shame. Although they may look guilty for their actions, it's far more likely that that's associated with primary emotions, such as fear, anger, or sadness. In this story that I'm about to share with you, a dog accidentally takes the life of a human. Yes, by accident. Yo, what is good, you darkaholics? Welcome back to The Dark Side of Life, where I will be telling you some very dark stories. So, let's just get into it. More often than not, when looking into the background of victims of either crime or horrendous accidents, I will find many caring and admirable traits of that person, how special they were, and so on. This man, however, breaks new ground in that regard. Not taking anything away from victims in my previous videos, this is just what I found online. When it comes to the unexpected passing of Joseph Austin Smith, a large group of people would come forward and speak about the impact he had on them in their everyday lives. Coworkers, family, friends, they all came forward to let the world know just how unique of a man he truly was. Someone so easy to love ended up dying in one of the most bizarre stories to date. 30-year-old Joseph Austin Smith, who I believe went by Joe, was happily living in Wichita, Kansas in 2023, where he was a skilled plumber working with the Browns Plumbing Company. Those that were lucky enough to meet and work alongside Joe admired him for a long list of reasons, one of those being his light and rare personality that he always carried with him. No matter what time it was, no matter how bad or good his day was, no matter how low the spirits of the crew at work may be, when Joe walked through the door, he would always have something to do or say that would put a smile on your face. Whether that be him walking in, being goofy, making everybody laugh, or it was just simply his presence and his attitude about life, which could instantly change your day for the better. It's like he had a gift and special ability to keep people in high spirits, no matter what the situation at hand was. His co-workers saying this about him make it clear that he had a huge impact on anyone around him day to day regardless of your relationship to him. He treated everyone with the same amount of love and respect. Joe really enjoyed spending time outdoors, whether that be hiking, fishing, hunting, and all of these things he would do fairly often, as well as spending time with family and friends, and last but not least, music. He was a respected, very skilled musician who had been playing music for countless years, the thought of music is something that Joe was constantly thinking about, 24-7. According to his older brother Jake when they were growing up, as boys they would play worship music at the Central Christian Church, which they enjoyed, but definitely not as much as playing their rock music. So at nighttime, the boys would sneak into the church building to use that area to practice and play their rock and roll, which is what they loved to play. It's stated that the church administrators were aware of the boys sneaking into the church, but they weren't that upset and decided to let them practice their craft. Unfortunately, Joe was out doing one of his favorite things to do when the unbelievable accident happened. Saturday morning, January 21st, 2023, Joe woke up early that morning 
and he had plans to go deer hunting on some public ground with a buddy of his and his dog, who would often go with them. After they got their rifles and gear all situated, they loaded up the truck and then headed out early that morning. Shortly after 9.30 a.m., him and his friend were in a rural area of Sumner County, between Udall and Bell Point. It was his friend's truck, so Joe wasn't driving, his friend was. With the dog in the bed of the truck, the gear in the back, and the guys in the front, the sun is up and it's looking like it's gonna be a great day. As they were doing their thing on this trip, at one point, they were all outside of the vehicle. His buddy, his dog, and Joe. And his friend looks over towards one of the houses in that area, and the first thing that he sees is another dog out in the yard. They were about to take off, and his friend didn't want his German Shepherd to leap out of the bed of the truck to go after the other dog. So instead, he put him in the back seat with the gear so that he wouldn't be able to. The guys get back up into the front seat and they take off driving. And on their way down the road, his friend's German Shepherd would spot that other dog that was out in the yard, causing him to move around in the back. Then, out of nowhere, his friend's ears are just ringing and he's a bit shaken up from the unexpected gunshot from close range. And he looks over at Joe, who isn't moving. He's unresponsive after taking a bullet that was shot through the seat, entering his body. His friend, obviously in shock by what just took place, immediately called paramedics who rushed to the scene and performed CPR on Joe for minutes. But unfortunately, he was pronounced dead at the scene. It turns out, as Joe was sitting in the passenger seat, when his buddy's dog saw the other dog, it moved towards that window. While doing so, stepped on a rifle, swiftly turning off the thumb safety and pulling the trigger in one motion, causing the rifle to discharge, sending the bullet through the seat into Joe, killing him right away according to police reports. The case was open and closed very quickly, which resulted in it being labeled an accident that took the life of a beautiful human being who was uplifting to so many people. I can't imagine how his loved ones are feeling. Friends, family, coworkers, everyone. My prayers go out to everyone directly affected by this tragedy. And may Joe Smith rest in peace. His last day with us was January 21st, 2023. It's such a strange way to die with like one in a million type circumstances and it's actually happened twice in a matter of months. I definitely need to find a more surefire way of knowing if police reports are public information or not. For the most part, I can find any reports that are public, but it just seems like this one was public and I just couldn't find it. I say that based on the number of articles that referred to the police report and then it becomes clear just what's in the police report because almost every article is exactly the same. Although the raw details of the story that I just shared with you came from the Wichita Eagle, and they had the most details regarding this situation. Many of the other articles seemed to almost be guessing if they were driving or not, or whose dog it was. Regardless, everyone who knew him is missing his presence, undefeatable attitude, and his ability to share his happiness with others. These preciously unique qualities are all reasons why this was such a huge loss to the world. He accomplished so much in his life, and he was so happy to just be alive, loving every minute of music and taking in the outdoors, even opening for nationally known bands, prompting the opportunity for Joe and his band to play at a venue he always wanted to play at, the Cotillion Ballroom. On January 20th, 2023, the day before the accident, that was the last day him and his band, known as Capybara, would ever jam together. There's no doubt that his community will keep his memory alive, and they will not let Joe be forgotten. I mentioned this happened twice because another guy in Turkey named Osgur, I'm not going to murder his last name, but he too was out hunting with his dog, and it's reported he failed to secure his weapon when he put it in the back of his truck. Then while he was loading equipment into the truck, 
his dog would accidentally step on the trigger, shooting and killing Oscar, which is insane. When I heard this guy's story a few months ago, I was like, damn, that's real unfortunate. And then I hear it again this past week in the States, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Like I said though, this is kind of just like a one in a million type story. And the fact that it's happened twice in a matter of months is crazy. It just goes to show you how fragile life truly is. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you made it to the end, go down to the comment section and comment fragile so I know. And if you enjoyed today's episode and you want to join the team, you know what to do. If you want to, you can follow me on Instagram at Robert Clausen with two N's. If you have a story suggestion, DM me on there. I think that's all I have for you guys today. Again, I truly appreciate your support. Until the next video, peace.